my friends, are you ready? Are you excited to learn about the latest hot 4chan meme? Are you ready? It's really good. It's really cute, really innocuous. I don't even know what it means, really. Mr. Obvious has the... I don't know why that black screen for so long. That was weird. Ha! Mr. Obvious has the take. YouTuber, Mr. Obvious. Let's, uh, let's see how far we can get into this before we kind of sort of figure out what's going on here. You know, it can be like a little game you and I are playing. Just, just you and me at home. Just you and me at home. Lately, I've been noticing a phenomenon. People are posting these weird pictures of people who are blue. I don't understand what it all means. Blue? What does being blue mean? I don't know. You can see a movie poster called This Is The End. There's a blue person, another blue person, a blue person, a blue person, and a blue person. Damn. But what does it mean? I've also seen political pictures uh -oh. where everyone is blue. I'm not exactly sure what the point is. Even her dress could is blue. Could this be an operation by the infamous hacker known as 4chan? What could he possibly hope to gain by painting people blue? Here's an interesting picture. Hmm. It looks like um, different people, Hollywood executives that choose what movies get made, people who decide what music gets produced, people who decide what television shows Americans see, people who decide what news gets covered, presidents of Ivy League universities, United Supreme Court justices, U.S. senators, owners of men's professional basketball teams, owners of men's pro football teams, and owners of men's pro baseball teams. A lot of them are blue. Especially maybe Hollywood, I, should, uh... I mean, most of them are blue. Very interesting. Blue, 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 blue everywhere. I noticed in a thread on Hacker 4chan that they were using the hashtag bluish. So I looked it up on Twitter. Do we, do we get it yet? Do we, do we, we get it right? It's the Jewish question, guys. It's the neo-Nazi conspiracy theory that Jews are taking over our government and media positions and disproportionately representing themselves to orchestrate some grand anti-white agenda. You know, I haven't talked about the Jewish question much on this channel. I think it's finally time to do so. Are you guys ready? So the Jewish question is a hallmark of Nazi ideology. Even back before World War II, um, uh, uh, German Nazis were of the belief that the Jews had preemptively waged war against the Weimar Republic, that they were responsible for the economic downturn following World War I and the Treaty of Versailles. So this idea that Jews are these grand uh, orchestrators, I mean, it goes back even earlier than that. I mean, if you know the origins of Jewish persecution in, in, in Europe, you know that, um, for example, the Christian mythology at that time prevented Christians, or I suppose Catholics, because it would have been back in the day, from um, uh, uh, engaging in usury. So charging interest on loaned money, essentially how our entire economy works today. Um, whereas Jews could do that. It wasn't religiously outlawed for them. So they would do that, and they would be put in positions of banking because that's how banks work. So the the idea that Jews have like this big, like uh, uh, high tier um, position in society that they're using to orchestrate some nefarious scheme, this is a very old idea. Um, and uh, this is just kind of the newest hot take. Nazis known for being very creative. You see blue, Jew, you see, very, very, very clever here. Now, what's interesting to me is, so the Nazi ideology here, when it comes to the Jewish question, is that it's the Jewish ethnicity. It's the Jewish ethnicity that makes them, like, cooperate. Not the religion. Because if we looked at these people and we colored them blue, whether or not they were, like, religiously Jewish, it'd be, like, five of them. Maybe even less. There aren't very many religious Jews in the world, you know? It's a pretty small portion of the global population, even here in the United States. They're talking about ethnic Jews. Now, that's always, that's a little bit weird to me, right? What is an ethnic Jew? Because there are Arab groups that like like the like Ashkenazi, for example, that that have like they're like if you actually like DNA test them, you can go back, you can like trace their lineage. But Judaism as a religion, I mean, that was around in Europe for thousands of years. And traditionally, Judaism is passed down from the mother. 
So the, the, if, you, if you're non-Jewish and you're a man, you marry a Jewish woman, it's the tradition, the woman then passes the Judaism on down to the children. So they're now religiously Jewish, sure, but then what if those people then marry themselves or they disavow religious Judaism later in their life? Are they still ethnically Jewish? What about the people they marry? Are they ethnically Jewish? I mean, they're not, right? Like, they're factually not. Like, that's not how family trees work. If you look at this series of pictures right here, I know they're all rather small, but I've seen images like this before. I've seen them on Poll. I've seen them on 4chan. These are white people. We're looking at white people, my friends. Can you see them? Can you see these little pasty mayo faces down? Like little ants crawling around on the surface of the gray PNG you're staring at. These are whites. Do you remember Richard Spencer's freak out? The video he did, uh, not video, sorry, the uh, video that was released, the leaked audio where he was screeching about octoroons and kikes and what have you. And I talked about how octoroon historically has been used as an insult against white people to impugn their whiteness when you disagreed with them or politically opposed them. The implication being you're one eighth black, but you can't really tell if a person is one eighth black. I could be one eighth black for all you guys know. I like like what? Maybe maybe I have night like softer lips. Like you you can't fucking tell if a white person is one eighth black or not one eighth black. You really can't like like one hundred percent get to that. You know you don't really know. But everyone has something in their faces that you could use to accuse them of being one eighth black if you really don't like them, if you really want to impugn them for that. And that was the purpose of the insult. If I'm uh, saying something you do like, if I'm saying, yeah, white ethno state now, ooh, race war now, er, fuck the Jews, I'm white. But if I'm saying open borders now, we need to bring in racial tolerance, diversity is our strength, hey, maybe I'm an octoroon. Or maybe I'm a Jew. See, I've seen a lot of Nazis call me Jewish. It happened to be on the kill stream. I see them say it in poll. Uh, I've seen it happen in HN. I've seen it happen in Kiwi Farms. They do it. They say me, Vosh, with the echo signs. Because it's known that I'm Polish. A lot of Polish Jews, you know. Except one thing. I'm Polish Catholic. My father nearly became a priest. There's not a drop of Judaism, ethnically or religiously, anywhere in me. I was Catholic. Both of my parents were raised Christian. My father's side Catholic and my mother's side Protestant. They're both agnostic now and so am I, but there's really not a drop of Judaism in me. But they call me Jewish anyway. They couldn't, I mean, they couldn't know that. You can't look at me and know, but they assumed. Why did they assume? Here's the reason why. Are you ready for it? The reason why is because the purpose of the Jewish question is not to accurately identify the existence of an ethnic group, but rather to cast a net so broad that it is impossible to disprove the existence of a demographic um, uh, misrepresentation that you can use to justify a conspiracy theory. I've gone over these poll boards I've gone over these image boards where they talk about the Jewish question, how everyone is Jewish or what have you. These people aren't Jewish, not religiously, and in most cases, not ethnically. It's like, what, it's like they married someone whose grandparent what, married a Jew, an ethnically Jewish person. It's some like nonsense where neither the religious nor the, 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 the genotypical aspects of what they consider Judaism are passed down. These are white people. It, uh, the, someone in chat just said, all it takes is one drop. Not even that. It doesn't take one drop of anything. And you know, I've never actually had it explained to me. What, how do they work? How do the Jews do it? Like, I would get it if it was a religious thing. If all religious Jews got together, like if they have their secret elders of Zion meeting or whatever, like, and they're, they're all like casting children into the witch's pot. I get, okay, I get, if they're part of a religious community, I get, I could get how the JQ could exist. 
I mean, there's no denying people of religious communities stick together. Even people of ethnic communities stick together for the most part. But when some of the people here who are colored blue are so distanced from anything even remotely resembling ethnic Judaism that they have probably at no point in their life ever considered themselves Jewish or considered anyone in their family Jewish, how exactly is the mechanism of conspiracy traveling through their body? It can't be a cultural thing because these people are raised white, born white, look white, benefit from white privilege, have white parents, and participate in upper class white society because they're mostly rich, you know, for the most part, for, for the most part. So it can't be a cultural thing. And it can't be a genetic thing either, because again, many of these people aren't even close to being genetically, culturally Jewish. Not only like in an ethnic sense or a religious sense, I mean, they literally are white. They're just white. They just have someone in their distant family who's Jew, or maybe like, or, or some of these people, I'm pretty sure, I've seen these in the image boards before, sometimes these people can't even find any evidence of Judaism anywhere in these people's family's history. So instead they like, start accusing people who are like supportive of Zionist policy of being Jewish in history. So it's not an ethnic thing and it's not a religious thing. What is it like a psychic thing? Do you like wake up one day and like, do you, do they like slip the, like the note under like the, the, the door and you get it. And it's like the, you're a wizard, Harry thing, except you're a Jew. Get ready, get in on the conspiracy. I've heard them. I've heard them describe it before. It's that Jews have a natural in-group selective bias. Leaving aside the fact that, um, I don't know what bias these guys are working together on apart from being white. Cause basically everyone who's colored blue here looks white as looks white as me um how does that how does that work exactly like in group by so i so one of them is never identified as jewish in their life and then they see someone else who's never identified as jewish in their life they both look white they both have heavy european roots and they look at each other and they're like yeah fuck white people it makes no sense so why am I even talking about this? I don't normally like talking about, um, I don't normally like talking about conspiracy theories because I mean, we can, we, we can go like through the lines here, like really quickly. Let's, let's talk about all the levels here. So for one, what type of Judaism are we talking about? Because these people aren't Jewish. They're white. They're clearly white. Not all of them. I mean, Bernie Sanders is in there. I don't, I don't question his Judaism and he, he can be blue, I guess. But so it's not a religious mechanism. It's not a cultural mechanism and it's not a genetic mechanism. So I don't know what mechanism would cause these people to have in-group biases. But even if they did have in-group biases, they're white. These people look white and they benefit from white privilege. I know Nazis are like, these people are white. Go like, go fuck yourself, dude. They're white in every way. They're genetically white. They're culturally white in every way, shape, and form. The vast majority of the people here who are colored blue are white. I know you have some like made up fantastical version of white that magically removes people who you have arbitrarily decided are Jewish because 18 uh, family generations back, they shook hands with a, with a Hasidic Jew. But in every actual empirical sense, these people are white. So if they're white, why do they want to destroy the white race? Because that's the Jewish question. The Jewish question isn't just that there are a lot of Jews in media. The Jewish question is also that those Jews in media and government are orchestrating an in-group conspiracy to destroy whiteness via immigration by promoting race mixing, miscegenation, and um, open borders to bring in the third world to destroy whiteness through white genocide by demographically replacing them. How the fuck does this follow from anything? They can, um, they, they, they reiterate these points. They like reinforce them to themselves by like ha showing a person they're colored blue. And this is like, it's like, there's a headline underneath them. This person supports opening up immigration laws, but this is how conspiratorial thinking works rather than having to actually make the point and substantiate it with empirical arguments or prove the consistency of your conspiracy. What you rather do is make broad generalizations that are literally impossible to prove and that are riddled with facts 
factual inaccuracies. And then rather than defend those inaccuracies, you jump back to individual examples that if interpreted in a certain way can lend credence to the conspiracy theory. It's a constant pivot game, constantly around and around. I've had these debates on my channel before. They get boring every time. Every Nazi I've ever brought on this channel, every last one of them, after bringing up the JQ, has backed off of it after a few questions. It's an, com it is a completely impossible to substantiate uh, conspiracy theory. I've heard more convincing arguments from flat earthers. I really have. So these guys, uh, because somewhere down their family line, they knew someone or met with someone, or they were slightly related to someone who married someone who married someone who was at one point the familiar member of someone who was ethnically Jewish after 2,000 years in Europe, diluting whatever genetic line they would have had to the, ori the original Arabian um, Jews. And, this, and, and they worked together with other people of similar backgrounds to bring about the end of the white race, even though all of them are white and benefit from white privilege and benefit from the existence and strength of white society. Uh, uh. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually, I actually, um, I actually, um, uh, 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 grew up in a, in a really like, a. uh, a large Jewish community. I grew up in Beverly Hills. There are a ton of Jews there. There are a ton of Jews in Hollywood. There's no getting around that. Um, that doesn't prove the JQ or anything. I mean, there are tons of white people in e the upper echelons of every element of civilized society here in the West. You know, it's... Um, but um, I grew up amongst them. I'm not saying that, like, there are no conceivable in-group biases amongst religious Jews. I grew up with religious Jews. They can be pretty fucking crabby. But again, these people aren't religious Jews. So... Also, what's so bad about the population not being majority white? You don't even have to answer that question, creator phase. Why would I back up to attack the severity of a conspiracy theory when they can't even plan, like, defend its most basic tenets. That's the point that I'm getting at here. So this is the new hot thing. That's it's blue, bluish, haha. So now you know the now you know the latest 4chan dog whistle. But more importantly, more importantly, keep in mind the JQ stuff, the conspiracy theory is in every instance I have ever encountered it, one of the most flagrantly unsubstantiated uh balls to the wall dumb fuck um collection of arguments I have ever had the displeasure of engaging with. Um, and every Nazi I have ever talked to, pre and post streaming, online and offline, in text, over voice, has backed off the JQ when pressed on it. Every single time, without question. And there's a reason for that. There are many reasons for that. So just keep that in mind. It's not so scary. There is one other thing I'd like to point out. Everyone else has been pointing out, so... This is my this is my favorite image, okay? Look at this. Oh, here it's a here it's a series of images. Look. They'll tell you it's all the Jew. But have you heard of the Hibernian conspiracy theory? Sounds crazy. Get ready to take the green pill. And it's like it's the it's the it's the format of the Jewish question posts. But it's about the Irish as well. I feel like they could have gone even more crazy with this because here they like they could have done way more with this. The um and it's like it's like a JQ post except it's with the Irish. And though this is obviously silly, I mean, no getting <laughs> And though this is though this is unquestionably very silly, the point is that um to uh to a weak mind, vulnerable to hate and conspiracy theory, you can do this with, like, anything. You can do this with anyone. If I wanted to and spent enough time, I'm pretty convinced I could create a Hibernian conspiracy theory master post that would make the Jewish question look like fucking child's play. It would make the Jewish question look like some shit 
this fucking kids, the fucking kids come up with in the treehouse. That'd be some Calvin and Hobbes shit. That would be some delusory dream shit to deal with the horrors of the real world where the Irish actually control everything. All you'd have to do is make shit up about what constitutes Irishness. So, for example, rather than just being of Irish lineage, such as Obama, rather than that, you can go even further. What about anyone who's Catholic? What about anyone who's ever married anyone who's Catholic? What about anyone who's ever married anyone who's ever married anyone who's ever married anyone who's ever married anyone who's Catholic? What about anyone who's ever been to Ireland? What about anyone who's ever had any diplomatic ties to any envoys or officials or diplomats from Ireland? What about anyone who has ever collaborated with business people who work from Ireland? I know that uh, Ireland is set up as a tax haven. That's their business strategy. So I bet you there are a lot of people who have done that. If you go far enough, we can color them green, you know, that not blue, green. And it will, and it will, and it will encompass the entire American electorate, everyone. And it will be full of poorly drawn images of people with red hair and green hats cackling and rubbing their hands together. Phenomenal, okay? And the point to this would be that conspiratorial thinking and images and memes that ally conspiratorial thinking, that bolster it, are irrational, and that you could create them to suit any narrative to fit your presupposed biases. So keep that in mind, my delightful friends, my beautiful comrades, okay? If you ever feel intimidated by any of this JQ shit, just remember, it really is nonsense. And those images are put together with people who genuinely have no lives. Don't feel as though you have to invest a reciprocal amount of effort to debunk them, they certainly didn't try very hard being scrutinous with the details and sources they use to justify whether or not someone is j bluish. So don't, don't sweat it, comrade. Just remember the same basic tenets, okay? How do these people work together? How the fuck are they Jewish? Why would they destroy a system that benefits them? How are any of the systems any of these individuals advocating for part of a broader conspiracy theory? They will lose on every question, every time. There we go. Cut. All right, who are the Nazis in chat? From James Dean. Make no mistake about it. We intend... Oh, James Dean, are you really going to quote one single person and try to prove a global conspiracy? We intend to keep bashing the dead white males, the live ones, and the females too until the social construct known as the white race is destroyed. Yeah, oh yeah. Wait, James Dean, I agree with this. For one, James Dean, uh, posting one person's quote isn't a proof of anything, and for two, I agree with that quote. I also want to destroy the social construct known as the white race. I'm a race abolitionist. I know that words are really scary to you, and I know that sometimes, sometimes if you squint really hard, you see conspiracies where none exist. But that's all right. It's okay, my man. Don't worry about it. It's all going to be okay.